Hello, Carla from Scrap and Create. So we are going to be building page three. So get out your, your little base tube pocket page. Make sure it's in the landscape like this. So it's seven and a half um, by, oh my, what is it? Seven and a half, eight, by, it's an eight by 10. Seven and a half by nine and a half going in this direction, seven and a half by nine and a half. And what you were going to be building is this page. So this is page three. So what we have is a flap here with an ephemera card, some magnets underneath the ephemera card. We have a little ribbon pole. This is going to be opening and we're going to have this little mechanism that slides in and out of this pocket and this is going to be opening up and then when we close it the mechanism is going back inside that pocket so that's what we're going to be building so let's get started let me move this out of the way So we have our pocket page. First thing you're going to do with this pocket page. I always put page three and I want to know where my spine is. So here's my spine. What you're going to do is uh, measure out three quarters of an inch and you are going to draw a line on both sides, three quarters of an inch and then just draw a line. You are going to cut out two strips of paper. Now this paper is, I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. This isn't the designer paper, remember? We, you are going to go to the eight by eight collection of this paper, it has the mushrooms on the back, and you are going to be cutting a strip that's going to be three quarters of an inch wide times two. So you're going to have two of them that are seven and three eighths inches tall. So cut two of these pieces from this paper, three quarters of an inch wide, three quarters of an inch wide, two pieces by seven and three eighths inches tall. And then you're going to affix those pieces like a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge on both sides. So go ahead and ink your designer paper, ink the edges, and affix it down either with glue or tape. So once those are down, next what you're going to do is make a pocket. So the pocket, this is black cardstock. I'm just using this um, for demonstration purposes. So you are going to make a pocket. You are going to cut a piece of black cardstock three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And you're going to score at half an inch on three sides. So go ahead and do that. And then you're going to miter the corners down here. Do not need to miter the corners on the top this time. So go ahead and fold it, um, miter your corners and get your score tape. Make sure your um, corners are mitered so they're not overlapping and causing any more bulk. Once you get your pocket ready, you are going to apply it. Here is your three quarters of an inch tick mark right here and right down here. You are going to align that up with that three quarters of an inch tick mark. So you are going to have a little bit of overlap with that paper because you brought this paper in one sixteenth of an inch in. So when you 
line it with that three quarters of an inch tick mark, it's going to slightly overlap that edge. So go ahead and fix that down. Just the back side. Do not affix the, the two side flaps. So let me pull this and get this fixed. So now we have our flap. Leave these unattached. Now you're going to get either your black construction tape or scotch tape. Normally, I would use black construction tape, um, but I do not want to waste my black construction tape. So I'm just going to be putting uh, scotch tape here for now. This is going to be real important because the mechanism that's going in needs to be able to slide in and out of this pocket without catching. So this is real important. Leave these unattached. We'll work with, we'll put them down later once we get our mechanism all built. So next you are going to get another piece of black construction, black card stock, and you are going to, we're going to make a flap. So you're going to cut it by six and a half inches wide by seven and a half inches tall. You're going to score, score half an inch on this end and you are going to put your um, score tape. Then what you're going to do with this is you are going to align it with that three quarters of an inch tick mark on this side. And get that lined. There's my tick mark down here. Down, if I can see it down there, and my tick mark up here, and I'm just going to pull the score tape and get that flapped on. Next, what you're going to do with this this flap you are going to add designer paper on the top side and the inside of the flap. So for the top side, you will be using the mushroom paper from the 12 by 12. So you will cut it to fit here. So it's gonna be um, seven and three H, seven and three H, seven and three eight inches high and then you will just, um, the width will depend on where your margin is here. So it will be approximately about six inches, approximately six inches in this direction. So you're going to make sure you ink, ink your paper, affix this paper here. Then on the inside, you will be using this paper again from the 8x8 collection and you will cover this inside flap. So measure it again. It's probably going to be 6 inches deep by 7 and 3 eighths inches high. So get the, make sure you ink that one too. So what you're going to have is, here is the mushroom paper here affixed, and inside here is this paper affixed to this flap. So do that. So now you are going to cut a piece of black cardstock. I already made a mistake, so I'll show you what I did. You're going to cut a piece of black cardstock seven inches wide by six and a half inches tall. And then you are going to score it um, right here. So you're going to score it and you will be adding 
your score tape here. I already made a boo-boo, so I'm just going to put some new score tape on top of this, and I'll show you what I did wrong. I'm just using a quarter inch score tape. Use your three eighths. I'm just trying to conserve on my score tape since this is just a, a demo model. So what your the way this is going to sit, I you have your flap here. You are going to find the midpoint of this flap, this flap. So find the midpoint here. Here's your score tape on this flap. You're going to find, open it up and you're going to find the midpoint here, which is like three and a quarter inches. So this is the midpoint. Here's the midpoint on this flap. You are going to be lining up those midpoints. You want to make sure you do not put it on. You want this line. I can show you. You want this edge to be lining up close to the edge of, of where it's bending, but not over that bend mark. Does that make sense? So here is where it's bending. I'm just going to draw a line so I can actually see it better too. I already made a mistake. So here's about my where it's bending right there. So now I can now I can see it. There's where it's bending. This you want it lined up with the the midpoint of, of this right here. You want to put this next to that little hinge, but not on top of it. Give it a little space okay and then you can pull your score tape what i did wrong was i put it in this way this way where this was sticking out this side wrong wrong you put it in this way got it so here's your score tape here's the hinge line Put it next to that line, but give it a little room, not on top of it. Line it up. And make sure, yeah, now you can pull. Now you can pull your score tape. There. So there we go. Okay. Burnish that real well. So this piece is going to be sliding into this pocket. So the next piece, so we still haven't adhered our pocket down. I'm always afraid to adhere it down. What you're going to do is now that you got this piece in, when it's open up, when this, this flap is open up, not when it's closed, but when it's open up, you are going to lay your pocket down and you're just going to draw a line where the pocket is intersecting that flap. So far so good. So what we're going to be doing next so now what you're going to do is cut a piece of black cardstock six, six inches wide by six and a half inches tall, and you're going to score it half an inch. So this is going to be, it's basically going to be fitting over this piece you just put in. So you're going to burnish that, fold and burnish. Put your score tape now this piece is going to be fitting 
here. So we have our pocket and this, remember this one is, this blue one is the one that's going in and out, in and out. Now, when I did mine, the first time I put it right up to that line and it actually caused me a little bit of problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up just a little bit so when it's all the way, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, when it's when you're when it's all the way out you want this to open freely and not get hung up on that pocket so it was kind of sticking on the pocket a little bit so what i'm going to do with this one have like a not quite an eighth of an inch distance between this line the line that you drew and this edge and what that also means, you if you're pulling it over a little bit, trim this like a. Let's see. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at my. So this is the one that we're applying now. Trim because you don't want this to be sticking over. So trim this one a little. If you move it over like a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch, trim this side sixteenth or an eighteenth of an inch because you don't want this to overhang this piece. Let me show you what I mean. If we affix this here, here's the blue one. It's now overhanging the blue one. We do not want that. We want them to be about like that. We want a little bit of reveal here, so I'm going to move this over, and I, if I affix it here, I want to remove just a little bit here before I put it down. So I'm gonna go to my trimmer and just take off that little piece right here. Okay, so I took it to the trimmer, I took it to the trimmer, <laughs> went to the trimmer and took out that little sliver. So now you can see this bottom piece. This is has a little bit of reveal, so it's not sticking over the edge of this bottom piece. And I'm going to have this about right here. Here's my line, and I brought it over just a little bit away from the line and I am going to line that up and pull that score tape So this is what you should have. Now you have this flap here. Have a look at mine. Yeah, so that flap. Now the way this is going to operate, it's going to be sliding in and out of this pocket. Now one of the things that's going to be a problem is now you have this lip. You have this lip from this flap and it's going to get stuck as it goes into that pocket going to hit that pocket. So what you're going to be doing, it's a, it's a lot of work to get this to work right, is you're going to be adding another sliver of paper. So these two, these two pieces are at the same height. So you're going to cut a piece of paper that's six and a half inches tall 
and I make mine, uh, let's see, six and a half inches tall by two, two, one inch. I'm going to make it a little bit more than one inch so it actually hangs over this. And I'm going to use, since this is, I'm going to try 110 pound cardstock just so it, it gives me a, um, these are even. So I'll be right back. So what I did is I cut um, the six, six and a half inches tall, and this is a hundred pound cardstock. So it's thicker, and I'm going to butt it up to here, and it's going to extend over the, the bottom flap, but that's okay, because this is just going to be going in and out, in and out like this. Now you have your black construction tape or your scotch tape here, so it should not get hung up there at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. I'll just use that. I'm just going to put some art glitter glue because it's fast. Make sure that doesn't interfere with that opening. That's okay. So you have a little bit of overhang here, but that is okay because that is just that is just going in and out. And it's not going to be getting hung up on anything. seems to be flowing good. The, the trick is when we put this pocket down, is it still not catching? It doesn't seem like it's catching. It seems okay. Here is mine. <laughs> Here is mine. So here is, I added my my um, 110 pound or my 100 pound cardstock to this edge. This is actually going to fit underneath the pocket. So it opens up like that. It does, this flap doesn't in, get caught with the pocket. And when we close it, see it's going in pretty smooth. It's not getting hung up because you added that extra um, 110, well, 100 pound cardstock piece here. So this is almost the same height. Hopefully that makes sense. If you did not have this extra piece, every time it went in and out, it'd be getting hung up on this lip of this flap. But here it's, it's riding pretty smooth so that's what you're going to do once you get and i didn't i didn't attach it very straight but you'll do a better job um, once that's all attached then you can put your designer paper on here you can put the designer paper on here which is going to be the mushroom from the 8x8 eight eight collection. So put the designer paper on this top piece. That's the mushroom from the 8x8. Eight eight. When you open it up, you are going to be applying the designer paper from, this is from the 12x12, the, um, 12 12. and then I put this strip. This is the border strip from somewhere on in the 12 by 12 collection. So this border strip is from this 
paper from the 12 by 12 collection. And I just cut that border strip here just to kind of break it up. And also because I was running out of this paper, I didn't have enough for the height, but I thought that looks cute. And I kept the, the little yellow edge here just to break it up. So you're going to go ahead and put your designer paper here. And this is just one continuous piece. I split it down the center and then attached it to both sides. Got the designer paper here. Still haven't put down the designer paper here. Um, we need to add some magnets. And then I'll take this out. You are going to be putting this solid piece in after we get our pocket down. So you can go ahead and let's, let's remove these and get our pocket down. Hopefully you're following these instructions. They're There we go. So let's see, does that move in and out? That seems okay. Now, um, you can take this out. And what you're going to do is get a piece of the red, solid red, from the patterns and solids. And you are going to adhere, where did I have my one inch strips? So you are going to adhere a one inch strip and you're going to put it inside the pocket and you're going to be covering up that little lip edge. That way nothing can get hung up on that lip edge. So ink the edges that remember this is, um, this is one, it's going to be one inches wide by six and a half inches long, ink the edges and then Put it inside your pocket, covering up that little lip that's on each side of your, of your pocket. And center that, and then adhere that down on both sides. Like that. So now that you've got your lip edge taken care of, so there's not going to be any hang up with these these little these little lips here so that that um, nothing goes on this back side because this is going to be going into this pocket you've covered this with the small mushroom paper you're covering this with the large mushroom paper with that mushroom strip down here you've already covered this with the um, with this paper, you've already covered this with this paper. We still have not added the paper to our pocket because we need to add our ephemera card and then our magnets. So that's going to be next. So next we're going to be making our ephemera card. This one's going to be pretty easy. You're just going to get this card, Kindness is Free, sprinkle it everywhere, and you're going to pretend this is it, and you're just going to be matting it on black cardstock. It's going to be a four by six inch um, matted little ephemera card, journaling card. So you're going to go ahead and mat this on black cardstock. So you got your, your black cardstock, 4x6 black cardstock. Then you are going to be adding a ribbon, a little pull ribbon. This is from this is from the, if you got the bundle from us, this little blue ribbon. You're going to be adhering that down. Remember, glue it and then put some tape 
score tape or construction tape, adhere that down, and then you're going to be, um, we're going to be adding some magnets. So do not put this paper on yet until we get our magnets in. So this, what you're going to do, this is about one inch. You are going to be putting your magnets a half an inch down, a half an inch in. Half an inch down, a half an inch in. Half an inch down, a half an inch in. So that is going to be where your magnets are going to go. They're the basic gray small magnets. Does that make sense? So let me just show you. So those are where your magnets are going to be under the paper. I try to always do it a half an inch from the side and a half an inch down, roughly. But that's where your magnets are going to be. So go ahead and get the magnets on, get your ribbon on, and then you can cover this back side. You still haven't adhered it to the flap yet. You're going to cover the back side with designer paper that goes down to about at least one and a half inches down. So on the back side of this ephemera piece that has your black cardstock, you're going to put your ribbon in the center and then your two magnets and then cover it with this designer paper. This, this paper from, this is the 8x8 collection. So you're going to be covering just a little sliver on the back side. And that little sliver is about... So it's it's one and an eighth inch. So just go ahead and make it at least a half an inch. So we get it, this all covered up. So this is going to be here. Oh, turn it over and cover about one and a half inches deep by whatever width this is. So cover this. Hopefully I'm in, am I even in frame there? So you're going to cover this back side. We have our black cardstock, and then you're going to cover it with this 8x8 paper. The hearts are going in this direction. So just cover that about one and a half inches deep. So once you have your ribbon in, your magnets in, and you've covered this up, and you've gone at least one and a half inches, what you're going to do is you're going to adhere the card to this front flap. It's going to be two inches from the bottom, and you are going to be having this part stick out one and an eighth inch. So just mark that one and an eighth inch on the back side, and then you're going to be adding your tape or your glue to this section only, and you're gonna adhere it down. So this is going to be sticking out so once this card is adhered down on the front, you're going to transfer the magnets over to your pocket, which you have not covered yet. So you're going to transfer it over to your pocket. Find where they need to go. And then you can cover this. So I covered it with the yellow paper again, the same yellow paper that we used for this flap. The hearts are pointing in this direction, going to the center, and here the hearts are pointing in this direction, going to the center. So you are going to cover the magnets with the designer paper. This whole thing is going to be covered with this yellow paper. What I did after I attached this yellow paper was I used this border. Where did I put it? 
I used this border. This is from the 12 by 12 collection. I used this border of ladybugs right here. This border, this ladybugs border, I just cut it right at the bottom, right at the bottom here, all the way to this green line. So cut it from the bottom to this green line. And then you just put that down. So it's going to look like that. It was just too much yellow, so I broke it up with that border. So I think we're done. We have our magnets in, we have our ephemera card in. This should be working smoothly for you. Hopefully it is. Um, there should be no problem. So leave me any comments in down below if you have any problems and I'll try to address them. Um, but if you go through it step by step, you should be able to get this to work like this. Okay, so that's it for page three.